Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is October 28th. Um, first of all, we have to say something about what happened today in, in Pittsburgh. It's it's a big tragedy in the United States for all of us. Anti-Semitism and any other form of bigotry has no place in the land of the pre and the home of the brave. There's just absolutely no room for any form of bigotry and I hope this son's a bitch gets what he deserves in hell. But uh, this video isn't about that. This video is about something else that has sort of um, taken off from this incident. If you guys have been following this channel as well as you know a lot of other channels on YouTube or any other form platform, you guys understand that there is a huge tech censorship. A censorship not necessarily solely aimed at people on the right, but it is largely aimed at people who support free speech. It is definitely favoring the more progressive speech control group of people, but it is definitely anti-free speech. And this censorship is nothing new. If you've been on YouTube, you know about this. Now, there are certain people that are trying to develop other alternative platforms that are pro-free speech. I'm sure you guys have heard about BitChute. You guys have heard about Gab. The problem is these platforms are constantly against these big tech giants. And these giants are essentially operating a monopoly and they're not making it any easier for any new companies to compete against them. The fact is, Google is trying to ensure that, that there will never be another Google. Facebook is trying to ensure that there will never be another Facebook. Twitter is trying to ensure that there will never be another Twitter. And it seems like these the odds are in the favor of the giants, but there are some people that are fighting. BitChute is being developed. I do try to promote it as much as I can. It is trying to be an alternative competitor to YouTube with a value of free speech. And Gap is trying to be an alternative to Twitter that is uh, you know, also in support of free speech. Gap recently has come under a lot of attack because of what happened in Pittsburgh and the reasoning is just bizarre. So CBS News, CBS News isn't unique, have pointed out that the uh, shooter was very heavily active on Gab. And it's, it's just bizarre because, let's face it, everyone we know from Lois Farrakhan and a lot of other people are active on Twitter, but nobody seems to mind. Hamas has an cr active group on Twitter anyways. It's just that these people are targeting Gab because it's pro-free speech. PayPal has decided that they will not support Gab. Uh, prior to this, prior to all this, uh, Google Play as well as App Store has, you know, they got rid of Gab's app. You know, an app would have been really uh, helpful for a platform like Gab. But anyways, the point is the odds are stacked against them. And one of their servers have said that they're not going to host them. Now, here's where people like you and I come in. Listen, we constantly complain about tech censorship, and there's a reason why we do it. Uh, th th this censorship is particularly dangerous to people like us because we have no representation in mainstream media, in establishment media. Uh, it's, I mean, I, I would say, okay, there's things like Fox News maybe, but establishment media is very left-oriented and we don't have any representation in entertainment at least you know not in any noticeable form so the internet social media is perhaps the only battleground we have so if you're against tech censorship if you want to give free speech a fighting chance you have to support these alternative platforms so gab needs our support and i think they would be down for the next few weeks but they will try to bounce back once they're back, we got to go help them. The link is gab.ai. If you guys uh, go through my links uh, in the video description, you'll see my Gab profile. I'll attach a link to uh, Gab's website too. And we, we got to be there. We got to support the platform because we got to try and preserve free speech. And right now, given the progressive route that these tech giants are taking, free speech, even online, um, its days are numbered if the big tech giants have their way and we gotta help these alternative platforms that's it you guys I'll talk to you guys soon